You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. Those trousers have a roguish quality to them. I like it. A fine choice of gloves. I've always said you had impeccable taste in matters of manual envelopment. That is splendid. It shall stay that way until you alter it. I hope you aren't nervous. You will dazzle everyone with your presence and character, I have no doubt. Stand to attention for the Queen of Albion. Logan, former King of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I say is, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed, like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work, but killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate, but his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our mother's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true, if it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, sister. Now choose. This is not the time for revenge. We need your help, Logan. The Queen has made her decision. Logan's life will be spared. I know you will never forgive me for the things I've done. You told me so once, remember? Of course I do. But what matters now is that we defend our land. The castle is yours, and so is the throne. I'm glad to be rid of them.
You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are queen, you can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler, but understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth. But you may also choose to break those promises, to harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need, but you will be hated. This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced, and be the hero that can stand against it. Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could, without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, we have to be ready when it comes. Having Logan's troops on our side is a good start, but you will need to raise a fortune to pay for the army we'll need. Hobson will show you the treasury, and I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. If you will follow me, your majesty. Oh, how I have looked forward to this moment. This is it. Albion's royal treasury, the store of the kingdom's total wealth. It's 
Well, not as some um, replete as one would like, but just imagine this room shimmering with hills, valleys, and plateaus of gold. A topography of riches going all the way up to the ceiling. It will require nothing less to build this army everyone is talking about. Which brings us to the second item on today's agenda, and one I'm personally very excited about. Setting the tax rate for the coming year. As you probably know, your brother was taxing the people rather heavily, and some say that this has led to poverty, starvation, and other societal ills. You have three clear choices, Your Majesty. One, lower the tax rate, which one could argue would help the poor and the hungry, but would also leave the treasury in a miserable state. Two, maintain Logan's policies. Not a popular move with the people, but moderately popular with the treasury. And three, and don't let my enthusiasm influence you in any way, Raise the taxes even further. True, many will suffer in the short term, but we will be able to protect the kingdom and run our fingertips over vast amounts of gold in, in this very room. What will it be, Your Majesty? Very well, Your Majesty. Well, how very noble. Yes, I suppose noble is the word. How very noble of you. The people are no doubt dancing in the streets. And we are bankrupt. You will need to be more ruthless if you wish to save the kingdom, Your Majesty. There are other, less salubrious means of filling the treasury, of course. You may donate your own gold, should you have enough. Though I must say... Such charity is unheard of. However you decide to proceed, you should acquaint yourself with the Royal Ledger. It is a logbook that allows the reigning monarch to make deposits and withdrawals from the treasury. A most useful financial tool. But my, look at the time. You really ought to attend to the next item on today's agenda. Reva has a most intriguing proposal for you in Bowerstone Industrial. Now, I know you have had your differences, but it is time to put those behind you and work together. Nobody can raise money like Reva can, I assure you. I have seen to it that your appearance among the populace is well publicized. So, expect a crowd. Any other business to attend to? I trust you are finding everything. Have you some financial concerns? Fancy a bit of counting, do you? The armory is at your disposal. Hammers cause massive damage, always a boon in combat.
I love the color of gold and the brilliance is quite good. Hard to go wrong with the divine heaviness as well. Hello. Fancy a bit of counting, do you? Don't tempt. Oh, happy day! Her Majesty the Queen of Albion graces us with her radiant presence. I knew last time we met that you would emerge victorious from such public sibling rivalry. And now, here I am to assist you in filling your coffers till they are fit to burst. What better way to begin your reign than by reinstating one of my most successful policies? There is no greater waste than the idleness of our city's youth. But my employment scheme guarantees children of all ages will have something to occupy them, whilst ensuring our factories are properly manned. That's... it's just monstrous. Don't listen to him. You promised you would end child labor. Remember that promise now. And what would you have us do with the snotty little indigents? The only way Bowerstone is going to climb out of the gutter is through education. Nothing is more important to our future than that. Turn this factory into a school. Give the children of this city the chance they never had. A school? Well, that's an original thought. Well, if you'd like to be known as a pauper monarch, then by all means, listen to her. Reaver Industries will abide by your decision. The factory will become a school. Thank you. We can really start changing people's lives now. This will be an Albion worth fighting for. I shall begin the necessary modifications at once. Welcome to Reaver Industries Learning Center, Bowerstone Industrial's first ever school. You can now feel secure in the knowledge that your children can become the well-educated automatons you always wanted them to be. Welcome.
to the sanctuary. Any other... Business to attend to? Watch out! No one on Bowerstone has Yay! better products. Yay! Here you are, then. Hello, the finest... my You won't find better products in all of Bowerstone. You don't look bad, actually. Another criminal on the loose. Job's yours if you want to track him down. That's great. With your help, we'll get the criminal scum off our streets once and for all. Hello, you ladyship. I'm glad to know kids can oh, wow. still find ways to amuse Hello. themselves. Greetings, my lady. Attention. Somewhere good. I have oh, lower stones. Thank you, Stanton. Maybe he's thinking about eating. Crap. The town's doing so well, I just had to put the prices up. Whichever crime it was they told you about, I won't do it again. Honest. Who are you to judge me? I bet you've pocketed a few unattended items before. Aha! The underpants thief nabbed at last. We'll all be able to rest easier in our beds tonight. Excellent work. You've earned this. Here's your pay. You'll go down in history as our most popular monarch ever. Ah, hello. The armory is at your disposal. Burning a foe can have a profound psychological impact on his fellow, unless they're heartless brigands or mindless animals, which probably encompasses the vast majority of your foes. Still, it will look dramatic. I hope everything is in order. Just doing a bit of bookkeeping, eh? Fancy a bit of counting, do you?
give me a heart attack. Greetings, Mom. Go on! Can I be of service, my lady? Yes! All right! Yes, sir! Yeah! Yes, indeed! Woo! All right! <laughs> Good Hippity one! Hippity hoppity hooray! Woohoo! Yeah! yeah. Just need a little bit of gold. You've got plenty to spare, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Go on. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Right. <laughs> There's a pawnbroker in town. I've never sold anything there myself, but it's the about. Woo. All right. Yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yes, Come on, one coin. Yeah, nice. Haha, <laughs> good one. Yes. Oh That's dear. So that is coming. Hello, your majesty. Ah, hello. That appears to be all of the gifts. Fancy a bit of counting, do you? Have you some financial concerns?
to do so much. Wonder if that blacksmith will ever find you. Oh, you scared me. Oh, how silly of me to be scared. Please, enough. You remind me of my mother. She was fat and ugly too. Can I be of service, my lady? Hooray for tax cuts! I mean, I do appreciate all the support that the government provides. Your special gift is still waiting for you to open it. Surely you've had enough... Your Majesty, please accept this small token of my esteem. Sell me your unwanted item. Well met, my name. Ready to serve, Your Majesty. Ah, Your Majesty. What the hell is that then?
You seem like a very nice person. I kill nice people, you know. other business to attend to? The armory is at your disposal. Will you be wanting a different weapon?
Welcome to the sanctuary. The armory is at your disposal.
Welcome to the sanctuary. The armory is at your disposal. 